What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Devil Slayer Raksasi. I don't know if I said that properly. My pronunciation may have been a tiny bit off, but this is a roguelike slash roguelite game. I assume about slaying devils. That would be my hope. If we make it through this title today without killing a single devil, I am going to be disappointed because I was led to believe a certain amount of devil expungement was going to take place during the course of this filming. Alright? If you can even call what I do filming, that might be a little grandiose of a label. I take it back. Let's start the game off and check it out. Uh, this game is currently in early access and is still actively in the process of being translated, so we may hit some translational issues. That's okay, it's still early on. My head hurts. You're awake. Hmm, I'm not meowing, alright? I'm not meowing in a video. I can't do it. I know I am the splatter cat, but I am incapable of emoting a meow right now. You guys are just gonna have to get on board with that. Perhaps you are indeed worthy of being called the chosen one. Your performance was even better this time. Perhaps you'll be able to complete your mission once all is said and done. Where am I? My head's killing me. How exactly did I get here? I remember... I remember, uh... Can't remember anything at all. There's no rush. Every time you're reincarnated, your memory will experience some erosion. This is normal. Take it easy. Your memory will be back soon, as will the mission you have yet to complete. How come my cats don't walk around the house in dope little cloaks like that? I gotta figure out how I can get Ollie inside one of these little cloaks so that he's no longer just like this fuzzy freeloader inside of my house that bites me all the time. He's now like a spirit guide. He's like a spiritual advisor. Alright, so here we are. We can swing like so. We can press the middle button to dodge. We can do like a little little blinky-do right there. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Well, I'm out of stamina, so I can't blinky-do anymore. Gotcha. So it just makes me run real, real fast. What does this say? Lock on target will have an indicator. When moving, you will stay facing the target. We can press U. Well, I don't know if I'm going to use the lock on. My right hand is on my mouse right now, so U, I don't think, is a really great key for me when it comes to locking on. We may just have to figure this out intuitively. Alright. So, like... Uh, okay, can I rebind that? Let's find out if I can rebind that, because that's a really bad key bind. Okay, as it turns out, you can rebind it if you want to. So, it can be rebound all that you desire. So, that's good. Because the initial, the, the initial button press is probably... I'm not going to take my hand off the mouse in order to lock onto an enemy. It's just not intuitive. So, oh, there's a portal over here. Who's this guy? Hey, who are you? Man, you got an elongated head. What happened? You, like, sleep too close to a vacuum or something? What, you want to see my records? Well, I suppose it's all right, but be careful. Handle them with care. Okay, so apparently there's numerous scrolls. Of which I have collected zero. Who's this lady over here with a little pom-pom haircut? What's up? Come over and tell me what you want to experience. I can draw it and burn it into incense to accompany you into the dream. You can see what you want to see in the dream. Okay. So I can select a prac. Basically, I can decide where I'm going to go. Alright. Well, let's just go into the portal. We'll go into the portal virgin style right now. We'll go into the portal completely unseasoned, and we'll just wait and see what happens. The old geezer said that in every dark age there's always a key bearer. Once that person was taken care of, everything carried on as it should. That really, that old geezer really is something. Nobody would believe that nonsense. That old man has experienced countless years more than you. On what grounds are you going against his plan? What do you know? So you're the heroine that's going to take care of the key bearer. 
All right, all right. I won't get in your way. It's not my business anyways. What happened here, it's completely different from how I remember. This once booming city had some very interesting things happen to it. Tyranny, drought, plague, insurrection. The lucky refugees that didn't die have all fled to the south, and what's left? Deranged people, bandits, devils, and devil slayers like you. Natural disasters are horrible. Man-made ones are tragic. What trouble are these people trying to stir up now? Who said it's not? In this world, devil slayers and officials are about the same, so you're trying to find the key bearer. It's hard to say if that person's here or not. Maybe they are. But it's none of my business anyhow. Apparently, she's just going to disappear on me. All right. Well, we'll take a look and see. Can I burn myself in fire? I can. We validated an important thing today. Fire burns. I know. We've done the research. we got a jade pendant. Revives the wielder in the previous room. Breaks on use and upon entering through a magic circle. It will restore your HP and MP upon breaking. Okay, do I need to equip it or anything? Is that like something that needs to be put on me? Oh, it's a passive. Okay, cool. I like how they have it clearly labeled that this is a passive item. Stop clicking it, idiot. And just accept that it's trying to help you right now. Who is this dude? Who is this man? Did he just try to hit me with a trident? You better stop it. Yeah, you better go to ground. I like the I like the way the game looks, actually. I like how it's animated. It feels nice. Like, I like how they open up and fall on the ground like that. Oh, we got a treasure chest. What's up? Ooh, what is that? Dark gold can be exchanged for weapons in the armory. Increases your maximum spirit armor by five points while holding it. I don't know what spirit armor is, but it sounds pretty rad. So I'm going to take it. We also have a vitality orb. I should probably do that because, like, I was trying to lick fire and I injured myself. I know. Who would have guessed that licking fire would be such a painful... Ow, dude. Ow, you need to, you need to stop. I don't accept this. Yeah, exactly. And now you're dead. You see how that plays out? Now you're dead. Oh, we got the same thing out of this one, too. Nice. Yeah, give me that right there. I'm going to need those HPs. As it turns out, I am not immune to the painful destruction of an axe blade. I tried, but it's just edgier than I am. I'm not an edgy guy. Oh, there's a treasure room over here. I want treasure. Yeah, let's go get some treasure, dude. Let's go get some treasure, my guys. Oh, we had a key, too. Nice. There might be something of use inside the coffins. Even though it's disrespectful, I couldn't read it in time. I mean, it might be disrespectful, but I've got flaming shoes now. Which is worse? You know, being respectful or not having flaming shoes? It's an important question for all of us to ask. Footprints will burn and set your enemies on fire. Hell yeah, let's take that. What is that, a magic potion? I'll take that. That sounds good. Is that the only thing that dropped? Dude, I'm pooping lava right now. I'm down with it. I feel it. All right. Who is ready for my red hot lava shits? Who is ready to participate in that? Find me someone to participate in this new phenomena. Do, 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 do. All right. So we'll go up into the left. Give it a good look around. And then we'll go inside of here. It's going to be a boss in here, huh? No, don't come any closer. I feel like I kind of have to. I, I don't think that that's my choice. I think I have to come closer. I'm going to fix this guy up with a deadly stab over here. I did want to... Ooh, he's on fire right now. Nice. Yeah, you're not going to knife me, man. I'm just... I'm simply not going to allow that to happen. I've come a long way in this life without being knifed. Oh, she's crazy. Okay, we gotta we gotta take her out. This is this is what it is, alright? This is healthcare in the Middle Ages. It ain't pretty. We don't have to like it, but it's the way things go. She made some crazy noises and then she blew on me with some weird black magic, so I stabbed her with a katana. Or a straight blade, or whatever it is that we're wielding. Yeah, I don't want to be in this fight anymore. Oh, you guys are on fire. Yeah. Stay on fire. I'm just going to let them burn to death. I don't even think I need to fight them if I can just light them on fire frequently enough. A little bit more money and another dark gold. I'm interested to see what kind of weapons we can get. I want to see if I could get myself, like, a big long spear or something. Oof. I'd be down. That's my choice of weapons. Whenever I play anything medieval or anything like this, like, I've got to have the long spear. Big long spear fan. An Earth Spirit Bead. Maybe I should check out some of these special abilities. It cannot be used in battle. I bet you that can, though. I bet you Berserk can be used, like, right now. Mm-hmm. I was ready for the Berserkiness. 
We got a key right there, and we've got some more health and some mana. All right, straight off to the left, we continue our adventure. It's going pretty well so far. I've only got some minor scuffings. Apparently, they fight each other too, or at least they can damage each other. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want that to happen. I'm getting a feel for the dodging right now. I'm getting a feel for it. Like you don't necessarily have to dedicate to attacks. It looks like you can cancel the frame. As long as you do it early enough, you can kind of juke, or if you do it late enough, you can dodge out of the way. It's only if you're dead in the middle that the dodge won't work. So it's definitely got a threshold there that you've got to operate around, but I definitely think there's room for like skill-based play here just by memorizing the frame. You're not going to buy anything? Store some money with me. Dead as a doornail? What a pity. I only have $15. It's not safe to carry money on your person these days. You can deposit your money with me. It's guaranteed to be safe, and I don't charge you any fees. Well, you've got a giant ball necklace, and I've always wanted a giant ball necklace that I could wear everywhere, like Akuma style. And so I instantaneously trust you. There's all my coins. They have holes in the middle of them. Enjoy. Oh, no. Wait, are we not friends anymore? See, I had made an I had made an assumption that we were friends. And now I'm getting Oh, he's pummeling me. I can't move right now. Ow, dude, I got laid out. Apparently he's a grappler. Ow. He tried to belly bump me into submission. I'm just gonna let you burn to death with fire. How about that? I just gotta get this fire in a little bit closer. There we go. See, the fun part about this is that I don't even have to No! My life. Dude, you squished me. That's not an honorable way to die. How are you going to squish somebody like that? It ain't right. If I'd ever get squished, I don't want anything about that event added to my tombstone. Investigation notes. These are notes from some devil slayer. The twelfth day of the second month of spring. I have arrived at the city. The only citizens left in the city are the elderly and infirm that are presenting an abnormally deranged condition. The reason is yet unknown. The city is full of mountain bandits. My investigation is being hindered. The 13th day of the second month of spring, I spied from just outside of the administrative offices. The county magistrate is still in the office, but appears to be insane, aggressive, and unreachable. I will await the arrival of support to proceed. The 14th day of the second month of spring, support is yet to arrive. I suspect the source of the citizen's abnormal condition to lie herein. I have decided to investigate the administrative offices post-haste. The note ends there. The writer probably isn't around anymore. Is the source of the madness the administrative offices? I'm afraid this will be a difficult fight. Well, don't be afraid. We've got a jade pendant. There's never anything to be afraid of when you got a jade pendant. You literally can't- I thought I was immune to fire because of my flamey boots! Hmm. The Crazed Magistrate. I love the artwork. The artwork looks really, really cool. I like this game's kind of edgy style a lot, where it's kind of combining a little bit of anime, but also it's also got that dark ink line sort of edginess that you find in some of the older animes like Berserk or in things like Darkest Dungeon, I guess, which obviously I don't have to say isn't an anime. But you get what I'm saying. It's a style... Ow, dude, you hit me with a book? I'm gonna get rid of his little buddies first. I don't like the fact that there's little dudes over here, and they might be throwing stuff or something at me. All right, so both his little homies are down now. We just need to figure out how we want to deal with this guy. I'm a little bit terrified that if I get close, I'm going to get smacked. Yeah, exactly. Oh, dude. Oh, he does like a smash. Okay, I see it now. I see it now. I'm stunned. I can't move. I can't move. Okay, let's back up off him. We'll let him, like, be on fire for a little bit. My fire seems to be getting it done. I gotta get him to do that smash attack. Listen, buddy. I need you to do your smash attack. If you don't do your smash attack, it makes my life... Or you could kill your own minion. That works, too. Oh, he did the smash attack, but I was too late. And now I'm stunned again. I might get killed. Oh, he's on fire again. Oh, dude, I keep trying to close the gap while he's stunned, but it's not working for me. So he hurts his hand after he attacks. Gotcha. I just got to memorize the pattern over here. There it is. I just got to see the animation. Dude, we have vanquished him. Defeat the Chapter 1 boss, the crazed magistrate. I am now officially that slayer. 
Oh, yes. There's a lot of things popping up right now. Let's see here. Oh, cool. So we have like a new character maybe that we can play as. We've also got a... I always forget the name of these things. The giant spiky club things. Ooh, a hooked spear. I definitely want that. A serpent sting. You know, I didn't even test if there was a right click with this weapon. There is. Oh, I can also parry. What? Oh my god, my life would have been so much easier if I had known that. As an official, you have one post and you must benefit one party. As an official, you must first ensure that you are a good man and that the people's best interest comes first above all. Upon this day, I must save myself. The heavens do not pity man. It has been three years now that we have persisted in this drought, and the masses go hungry and crazed with disease. Could it be that my governance is the cause? Today the masses have left, seeking fairer fortunes to the south. I hope that there even is the slimmest chance of survival for them. I must attend to administrative officials and maintain my post to the end. Madness was not in your nature. That's good. I'm not disappointed. Back then, I let you remain amongst the living, and today I'm going to send you off to the underworld. Hopefully, you'll be a better person in your next life. Farewell. I think it's a little late for that. We already done killed him. Ooh, spiderweb boots. So instead of regular footprints, it gives movement speed debuffs to the enemy. Do I lose my booties if I wear these, or do I just put them on? Like, I put one pair of boots on over the top of the other pair of boots, like galoshes style, so that I can have both effects. Oh my god, I have both effects. I have flaming spider webs coming out of my feet. I am so happy right now. If I had to choose a superpower, flaming spider webs coming out. Oh, the flaming spider webs don't come out of my feet while I'm on this menu right here. Am disappointed. Scrolls, scrolls. Okay, what's, what's old man Longhead have to say? What, you want to see the records? I suppose it's alright. So do we unlock scrolls or something? Oh yeah, as we kill people, we get little scrolls that like tell you about the monster and give you a bit of like an atlas, I guess, to find your way through the game. I like that. So we have a chop, and then we have a repost, and then we have a dodge. Okay, I want to try out this... Yeah, that chop right there. I'm going to catch somebody with that chop. Yup, that chop's definitely going to catch somebody up. What do you have to say? You're a goofy looking kid, ain't you? Counting on a few things on one hand. Are you interested in my collection? These were all left by your predecessors. If you give me some souls, I'll shut my eyes and pull one out for you. Whatever you get is up to luck, mind you. Okay. I don't really want to spend my souls on this. I've never been in possession of human souls before. But I, I'd be okay with it. Like, in real life, wouldn't it be kind of cool to have like a necklace that had like a soul in it? Like an actual soul. Like, I don't know, maybe that's a little metal. Maybe that's a little heavy metal, but like when you look at it, it's like... Rah! Like a little ghost hand runs down the front of the crystal. That's pretty metal right there. Like, I think it would be impossible for you not to be in like a Danzig-style band if you had that necklace. I mean, it probably implies that you're a terrible person if you have that necklace. But at the same time... Eh. Yeah, I had gauges too. My ears look the same way. The trial that this immortal design cannot have any flaws to it. If you were to provide some souls, though, I could provide some useful functions for you to use on your journeys. Okay. Yeah, I need to get my ear stitch shut. I haven't done it yet, though. I had, like, half-inch gauges for a long time back when that was in style. And I was hoping they would close up. My ears have closed up down to, like, really small now. But there's still definitely, like, a hole there that I can get a sizable fraction of my pinky through. And now that I don't wear anything in them, it just looks like I have holes in my ears. I don't regret it or whatever. Oh, I have to spend all of my souls? Okay. Click, click, little pot, or little girl. This pot here loves to research scrolls to consume souls. If you give me souls, I will make you stronger. All right. Make me stronger. There are no items left to refine. Okay, so apparently I got, maybe that's how we upgrade our swords or something. Well, I don't really have anything to spend my souls on. Cultivating one's morality, maintaining one's home, ruling the country, maintaining a harem of 3,000, uh... Anyways. First, you need to get your body in order. Just give me a few souls and we'll help you become reborn. The talents activated here are permanently in effect, even if you start another reincarnation trial. I guess I can throw some souls at the health potion. It won't let me leave until I spend them all, so, like, why not? Can we bring some cannonballs with us? Dude, I want to have an arm-mounted cannon. You didn't find the key bear. That's normal. Otherwise, the reincarnation trials would have been over and done with a long time ago. Where am I? It stinks of death. The Ming Emperor and Zhang Zhao have been at battle here for months. 
Corpses litter this battlefield as far as the eye can see. The Ming withdrew not long ago. Only the Zhang Zhao army remains. And the skeleton warriors that have been rising up from the mounds of corpses. Did you bring me here because the target is here? There's death here. Souls and cruelty around. If you look hard enough, all the most horrifying things known to mankind can be found. Perhaps your objective can be found here, but who knows? Funsies. I always like going on cryptic journey. Apparently, you get a res like every single time you come into a new zone. I'm down with it because I'm terrible at video games, so I need do-overs sometimes. Every now and again, I need to break out the old mulligan. Oof, that guy's getting in there. Here, I will help you. We don't have to fight, man. We could be on the same team. I have respect for the armor game right now. I tried to give you respect, and you tried to shank me. Well, don't try to shank me. Does this guy even have any close quarters attacks? It doesn't look like he does. Oh, these guys are piled up in the corner right now. I thought maybe his shield was going to do something. I don't know what I got hit by right there. I just stumbled slightly, and I'm not sure why. Dark gold, a little bit more. I would have 22 coins right now if that big guy had not taken, like, Muffin Stealer. That's his new nickname. I'm going to call him Muffin Stealer from now on. If Muffin Stealer hadn't come along and stole my money and then belly bumped my forehead into submission, which, frankly, is one of the most disrespectful ways to dispatch one of your opponents. Like, if I'm ever in a fist fight and I get knocked down and the final hit is just, like, a belly bump of truth... I don't want to fight anymore. I think I'm going to give up scrapping forever. Like, once you're defeated by a belly bump, it's all over for you. There's no coming back from that. I don't know what's happening here. Nice! Apparently, I could use that little spear launcher right there. That was a real thing, historically. I don't get why I'm taking damage right now. Why am I taking damage? Can I break his guard? Okay, I can break his guard. That's all I needed to know with the shield guys is can I break their guard? There we go. That's how you defeat the undead right there. That's how you give it to them, like X. Yeah, a little bit of money. Let's see here. A stimulant increases your attack power, defense, and speed while also granting you a juggernaut. I have no idea what that does, but I've always wanted one of those scroll cases right there. Just put it on your belt and just be all important and official. I don't know what that signifies, but I feel like I should have a scroll case from like a long red ribbon around my belt. And then I stand there in the wind all the time, just looking under the brim of my hat, you know. Just like letting people know that I'm the man. Because like if you're that guy in the TV show, you're kind of a bad at Did you just throw an axe at me? Listen, no throwing weapons. It's not allowed. Chillax, Brody. Ow. We might die here. Luckily, they gave me a whole bunch of vitality orbs, though, so we get to keep fighting on a little bit longer, as we so desire. What kind of bad guys we got? That guy's got, like, green stuff all over him. I don't know if he just ate a lot of broccoli. Ow. That man stomped my life force out. Oh, he's poisonous. Okay, I saw that on the left-hand side. He's poisonous. Gotcha. That dude is poison. He's a spearman out of control. That man is poison. I'm not in the market for fighting, like, honorably here. Like, if I can wipe this dude out while taking a minimal amount of damage while he's fighting somebody else, I think that's an acceptable sacrifice that I'm willing to make. I'm willing to sacrifice my honor a little bit in order to make sure a dangerous foe goes down and the realm is protected, because obviously that's my call, protector of the realm. That's a good title right there. Yeah, maybe let's not get hit by that massive lollipop. That seems like it's probably going to sting a little bit. Ow, I was right, it stung so bad. I was so right and it stung so bad. I don't know what this yellow stuff is that I'm picking up. I assume it's armor, is my guess. Oh, the portrait. It's Doom style. I just noticed. So when our health was low, she gets more bloody and beat up. And then when her health goes back up, she's all cleaned up again. So the portrait works Doom style. There's a nostalgic little part in my stomach tummy bits that really likes that and makes me very, very happy. 
I think that's a good plan. I think more games should have that. And anyways, this is Devil Slayer Raksasi. It's in early access right now. It's definitely a mix of kind of like an arena Souls-like roguelite is what I would classify it as. And actually, I like it. It's pretty well put together. Um, I do think that like... This one's on a good path, just what from what I've seen so far. The care that's been given to the art and the setting and just making the game feel like you're a part of it. It looks good from, you know, the blood-drenched horses to the knocked-over banners. Um, I do think the attacks could maybe have, like, a little bit more impact and maybe, like, a freeze frame when you hit things so that it feels like you're hitting them, like, really, really hard and making contact. But I don't think it's necessary. And so far during the course of this impressions video, I don't really feel like I found anything to complain about. So keep on keeping on. I look forward to seeing the game further translated, further developed, and having more stuff inside of it. If you guys wanted to check this game out and add it to your wish list, I'll have a link for you down below in the description. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the block was Devil Slayer Raksasi. And so far, I'm pleased with it. I like it. It's fun. I'll see y'all next time with something hot fresh off the oven. How do you do, everybody?